Good afternoon. I wanted to speak to you this afternoon to explain how we at Foxwell State Secondary College will ensure that we best cater for your child during this period of remote learning. We have been working closely with Queensland Health and the Chief Health Officer around our operating procedures to ensure safety for all members of our school community. Our remote program that we call our Continuity of Learning program will commence from Tuesday the 3rd of August for all students, whether they are completing this program at home under the supervision or support from their parents or carers, or here being supervised by a member of staff, if again they meet that criteria of being the child of an essential worker or a vulnerable student who cannot access supervision in any other way. Based on the changing nature of this Delta strain, it is a requirement that students who do attend school will be grouped in groups of maximum of 10 students at any one time. To avoid any potential health risks, these students will remain with these 10 students both in classroom and in the lunch break, and these groups will not interact with each other at any moment of the school day, including during lunch breaks. As this is a significant change to our normal operating procedures and the way that we handled COVID restrictions in 2021, we wanted to make sure that you have had this discussion with your child, that they will not be able to engage in sporting activities, play activities, use any other items uh, during the school day. What they will be required to do is sit with their group of 10 students during their class time and when it comes to lunch time they will be seated in a designated area only with those groups of students. Please remember also that our canteen and uniform shop will not be open for students during this time. During the lessons staff will be available to supervise the students while they complete their online learning or their continuity of learning program. Please note that normal lessons and explicit teaching will not occur at any time during this program. It is now a directive from the Director General of the Education Department that staff should be required to work from home where at all possible. We are going to have a very minimal number of staff on the school site at all times. Our staff will be working from home and available to all parents and students from the hours of nine till three to be able to support the students with any questions, support and provide feedback on their exciting learning tasks that they will be submitting to their teachers using Seesaw from home. An important note, if you are an essential worker or your child is in the vulnerable students category, we require you to call Foxwell State Secondary College or email us tomorrow to let us know that your child will be attending any day into the future. We need this information so that we can ensure that we have the right number of staff here for the very small number of students who will be on our school site. Please know that our school gates will only be open from 8.15 until 3 p.m. and there'll be absolutely no supervision or staff on site outside of these hours. Of course, this is absolutely not what we wanted for our students at this important time of their life, but we do need to put the safety and well-being of our school community and all of Queensland as our priority at this time. So please look for the information that you'll find, the very detailed information that you're going to receive today about how to continue with learning from home. Our students handled this very, very well in 2021, and I'm sure they will again. They will be able to interact with their teachers and they will be able to complete their work with support from our school. Remember, if you've got any questions, please speak to your child's teacher or please contact our school and we will be there to support you. Please keep updated on all of the information that we provide through bulletins, through Cecil information and through any other emails. That is where you will find out all of your regular and up-to-date information from us. So please stay tuned and we will keep you updated. Please stay safe, everybody. Okay, until next time, goodbye.